dear students welcome to all of you today we discuss 2022 unit 1 from advanced mechanics question paper semester 6 mathematics honors question paper 2022 advanced mechanics question paper already i have discussed the multiple choice questions group b unit 1 question 2a what are constraints give an example of a non holonomic constraint system so that summation of j equal to 1 to small n qj dot del del qj dot l minus l each constant of motion for a conservative scleronomic system constraints of the motion of a particle or system of particles is restricted by one or more conditions the limitations on the motion of a system are called constraints and the motion is said to be constraint motion example of non holonomic constraint the motion of a particle placed on the surface of a sphere of radius a will be described by mod r vector greater than equal to a or r minus a greater than equal to 0 in a gravitational field where r vector is the position vector of the particle relative to the center of the sphere the particle will first slide down the surface and then fall off next part so that this summation this is a constant of motion for a conservative scleronomic system consider a conservative system so that potential energy v equal to v is a function of q1 comma q2 comma qn generalized coordinates small n generalized coordinates number two constraints do not change with time t that is scleronomic system and ri vector equal to ri vector uh, functions of q1 q2 qn do not ch change with time so there is no t and lagrangian l this l equal to a function of qj comma qj dot where n is the number of degrees of freedom now ddt of l equals to summation of our j del del qj l ddt of qj plus summation of our j del del qj dot l ddt of qj dot this j runs from 1 to small n this j equal to 1 to small n the Lagrange's equation of motion are given by del del qj l equal to ddt of del del qj dot l j equal to 1 2 up to small n using this from 1 uh, this from 1 ddt of l this equal to summation over j uh, ddt of del del qj dot l qj dot this ddt qj this is qj dot and this del l del qj is the value of this ddt of del del qj dot l so put this plus summation j over j del del qj dot del ddt of qj dot this equal to summation over j ddt of qj dot del l del qj dot so adding this to two terms so when uh, we uh, derive this and uh, this ddt of this into this plus uh, ddt of this into this so this so summation j over j equal to summation over j j runs from 1 to small n ddt of qj dot del del qj dot t because because for a conservative system this l equal to t minus v so del del qj dot t because del del qj dot v equal to 0 because this v is a function of q1 q2 qn there is no q dot here 
so this term is zero so del del qj dot l equal to del del qj dot t hence ddt of l this ddt of l equal to summation of our j ddt qj dot pj because pj uh, is the uh, corresponding uh, momentum uh, corresponding to qj this equals to del del qj dot l this equal to del del qj dot t so ddt of l minus summation of our pj qj dot summation of our j this equal to zero hence ddt of this equals to zero obviously this l minus summation pj qj dot equal to constant of motion say capital j say this is a constant of motion and this constant of motion j capital j is one of the first integrals of the equation of motion and is called jacobi's integral of the system if all qj's are substituted uh, properly by function of pj then j is nothing but hamiltonian h capital h this equal to summation j qj dot pj minus a next question 2b if l is the lagrangian for a system with n degrees of freedom so that by direct substitution that l less equal to l plus ddt of f q1 q2 qn T also satisfies Lagrange's equations where f is an arbitrary differentiable function of its arguments. Gauge invariance of the Lagrangian. First, we describe the theorem. Uh, if L each a Lagrangian for a system of n degrees of freedom satisfying Lagrange's equation of motion, then L less equal to L plus ddt f also satisfies the Lagrange's equation of motion where f is an arbitrary differentiable function such that f equal to f functions of q1, q2, qn, comma t. This function f capital F is called gauge function for the Lagrangian L and the transformation one, this transformation is known as gauge transformation. So this is the uh, gauge uh, transformation the invariance theorem of our uh, Lagrangian proof of this theorem. Now the time derivative of f function, ddt of f, this is equal to summation over i, del del qi f into ddt of qi plus del del t f. So del del t f plus summation of our qj dot this del del ddt of qy means qj dot qy dot and del del qy f summation of our i i runs from one to small n lagrange's equations uh, is uh, r uh, for i equal to one to n ddt of uh, del del qy dot l minus del del qy l equal to zero i equal to one to n now if l less satisfies three then we have to prove ddt of del del qy dot l dash minus d del del qy l less equal to zero now left hand side of uh, four uh, this equal to ddt of uh, ddt of uh, this del del qi dot this l less this l less uh, what is the l less l less is l plus ddt of d ddt of f this l less so put this l less here now derivative of this del l del q y dot this plus derivative of del l del q y dot uh, derivative of f minus del del q y l minus del del q y derivative of f hence this derivative of del del q y dot uh, d of dt and this uh, plus minus del del q y uh, d of dt by 3 equation 3 uh, because ddt of del l del qy dot equal to minus uh, del l del l qy l equal to 0 so so uh, this minus this equals to 0 equal to ddt of del del qy dot bracket summation over k qy dot qk dot 
del del q k f plus del del t f is minus del del q y bracket summation over k q k dot del del q k f plus del del t f by 2. This uh, ddt of f equal to this. So del del, del t f plus summation q y summation over i q y dot del del q y f. We'll put this here. This value of uh, ddt of f and value of uh, ddt of f here put here. After simplification, uh, we get uh, this step after simplification and this um, after simpl uh, algebraic simplification, uh, we get ultimately this equal to 0. So, uh, we get uh, this uh, ddt of uh, del del qy dot del dash minus del del qy del dash, uh, we uh, shown this is equal to 0. Thus, L dash equal to L plus DT of F satisfies the uh, Lagrange's equation proved. Next question 2C. For a system described by generalized coordinates Q1, Q2, Qn, define generalized momentum Pi corresponding to generalized coordinate Qy, establish the relation Pi dot equal to del del Qy L i equal to 1 to n, what are velocity dependent potential? Generalist momenta, consider a holodomic uh, mechanical system with Lagrangian L, L is a function of qj, qj dot and t. Uh, then the scalar quantity pj defined by pj uh, equal to del del qj dot l is called generalized momentum corresponding to the coordinate qj it is also called momentum conjugate to qj now we establish pi dot equal to del del qy l i equal to 1 to n lagrange's equation of motion are given by dt of del del qy dot l minus del del qy l equal to 0 i equal to 1 to n dt of pi uh, because this pi equal to uh, this uh, del del qy dot l so put this pi equal to this minus del del qy l equal to 0 so pi dot equal to del del qy l next question what are the velocity uh, dependent potentials there are system whose specified forces are not conservative and so the potential energy V, the function of Q1, Q2, Qn, does not exist. But the equation of motion can still be written in Lagrangian form if it happens that the generalized force capital QJ can be written in the form capital QJ equal to dt of del del QJ dot capital U minus del del QJ capital U j equal to 1 to small n for some. Or some capital U bracket uh, QJ comma QJ dot comma T then the Lagrangian L can be written as L uh, QJ comma QJ dot comma T equal to T capital T QJ comma QJ dot uh, comma T minus capital U QJ comma QJ dot T. The function capital U is called the velocity dependent potential of the system. Example a velocity dependent potential exists in the case of a charged particle moving in electromagnetic fields. Next question 2D. A particle of mass m is projected with an initial velocity u at an angle alpha to the horizontal. Choosing a suitable coordinate system, write down the Lagrangian of the system and deduce the equations of the motion integrate these with the given initial conditions let uh, p with coordinates x y uh, be the position of the particle at any instant t in 
xy plane this x axis horizontal vertical y axis this origin o and this particle uh, projected from o uh, with initial velocity u uh, with an angle with horizon u alpha now kinetic energy of the particle at this point this t equal to half m v square that is equal to x dot square plus y dot square and the potential energy taking x axis as the reference level so uh, particle is in upward direction these are reference level these so potential energy is positive here now this b potential energy m g y because this height is y here g is the acceleration due to gravity then the lagrangian l is given by l equal to t minus p this is equal to half of m x dot square plus y dot square minus m g y now del del x dot l equal to m x dot obviously this half m 2x dot so obviously m x dot del del x l equal to 0 because there is no x here and del del y dot l equal to m y dot and del del y equal to this minus m g then Lagrange's equation of motion are given by dt of del del x dot l minus del del x l equal to 0 so this is equal to dt of uh, this value of uh, del del x dot l equal to m x dot this del del x, x equal to 0 so this equal to uh, m x dot dt of this equal to 0 and uh, so uh, this dt so derivative m x double dot equal to 0 that is x double dot equal to 0 and similarly uh, this dt of del del y dot l minus del del y l equal to 0 and hence we get y double dot that is d2y dt square plus g equal to 0 integrating the above equations twice so first uh, integrating this and next integrating with respect to t this x equal to capital a t plus b and from second this three equation uh, y equal to minus half g t square plus c t plus d where a b c d are constant of integrations which can be evaluated by applying the following conditions at t equal to 0 at the starting point this origin t equal to 0 this x equal to 0 and x dot equal to u cos alpha so x dot equal to u cos alpha this initial velocity u so uh, this direction u cos alpha and this direction is u sin alpha component of the u at time t equal to 0 at origin so uh, x dot um, equal to velocity component along x axis this and y equal to 0 at this origin uh, this and y dot velocity component this y u sin alpha so using uh, these initial conditions uh, 4 and 5 we ultimately get the value of a b c d and we get x equal to u cos alpha t y equal to u sin alpha t minus half g t square and from 7 this equal to y u sin alpha and value of uh, t is this x by u cos alpha put here uh, t uh, u x by u cos alpha and after simplification we get x tan alpha minus half g x square by u square cos square alpha which is the desired equation of the path followed by the projectile and is a parabola is the parabolic path hence this completes uh, the unit 1 2022 advanced mechanics thank you for watching this video